Hey guys, this is Bobby and I'm back with another video. Today's video is called How to Gain the Upper Hand with a Girl. See, something that you may not realize is that every time a guy and a girl starts talking, one person tries harder. And the person who tries harder holds less power. Now, once a girl recognizes that she has the power, game over, collect your consolation prize, and go home. Now on the other hand, girls are power hungry and when a cool hot girl senses that you have the upper hand, her mind literally can't handle it and it forces her to chase after you. Now this is especially true if you're not her usual type because she's kind of confused and she starts thinking there must be just something about him. Now you want to know something else, girls are also constantly testing you. And they're testing you to see how much power they hold. Now, it could be something as simple as playing with her phone while you're talking to her, fishing for a compliment, or using her sexuality to see what she can get from you. So how you react to these tests, let her know how much power she has over you. Now, spotting these tests gives you a huge advantage. But there's something else that is even more of an advantage to you something you already possess and the question that a lot of guys want to know is how do you gain the upper hand so let me explain whether you're just meeting a girl whether you're friends with her whether you've already hooked up with her or whether she is just some girl in your class that you barely even talk to she's silently and unconsciously judging you and what she's judging you on is how predictable are you? Do you like her more than she likes you? What do you want from her? How much bullshit will you deal with? What can she get you to do? How special do you view her? Has she already figured you out? Now, the thing is, is that these questions are the ultimate power that you hold. Because she wants answers to them. In fact, she needs answers to them. And... As long as she's searching for the answers, you hold the power. Now, when I first realized this, my answer was to act like an asshole or a jerk and to pretend that I didn't care what she thought and to kind of downplay how much I liked her. But that was wrong, too, because, see, girls either A, see through your act, or B, they just assume you're disinterested and, and they move on. Nope. Pretending to be an asshole doesn't work either. What you need to do is... Let her think that she's figured you out, and then you throw her a curveball. And then you scramble the answers to these questions together until figuring you out becomes the only thing she can think about, until it becomes a compulsion for her, until you become a puzzle she gets obsessed with solving. And that's what the scrambler does, and I want to teach it to you. Click the link below and watch a video where I'll reveal to you a simple little mind game called The Scrambler. Now, if you want proof that this is what girls want, just look at the titles of dating advice books that women buy. 90% of the books have titles like, What is he thinking? How to read a guy's mind? Is he into you? How does a man's mind work? So watch the video below and discover how to use these questions to your advantage.